Hello there, you seductively sensual human being you, and welcome to a rather monumental episode of Techspert Weekly. That's right, this week the Spurton army has grown half a million strong. Over 500,000 of you beautiful buggers have smashed the bejesus at that subscribe button since I did my first video just over a thousand days ago. Alright, so um, hi guys, uh, this is Chris. Uh, I'm Chris, and you're watching Techspert. Get it? Yeah? Uh, and this here is the Motorola the Moto G7 and we're gonna, oh, uh, please do uh, smash the subscribe button and pork the, uh, the little thumbs up thingy, that would be great. If you want to, of course, I don't wanna, don't wanna pressure you uh, into anything. Uh, but anyway, this, this funny little fella here, it's the, uh, the Moto G7. Uh, oh, shit, I already said that. Oh, f and for posterity, I captured that precise joyous moment where the subscriber count ticked up to precisely 500,000. Okay guys, so this is it. It's about to happen. Half a million Spurtons. Here we come. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Any second now. Got a good feeling about this time. Boom. Oh, we lost one. Come on, seriously, you haven't got all day. My beer's going to go flat. Oh, there it is. There it is. Way! Suck my chubby. Half a million subscribers. Mm. Oh. Right, yeah, great. Lovely, lovely stuff. Half a ruddy million, absolutely mental stuff. So again, a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed and is continuing to watch this random shower every single week. And that's enough of that bollocks anyway, because anyone who has been watching this channel will have noticed there's been quite a few phone launches going on. So let's whoosh, crack on. Techspert Weekly. So first off this week, the mighty Poco squeezed out two new Bogganus blowers, the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco F3. That X3 Pro is essentially the X3 NFC from last year, but with sexier performance, and at 200 quid, it's an effing bargain. Or if you want some serious game and grunt, you can upgrade to that Poco F3 for just over 300 quid and get yourself a Snapdragon 870 handset that can absolutely piss through any Android game out there. Ordinarily, of course, that Poco launch by itself would have been more than enough to keep any self-assured gadgets fan pleasantly moist for the rest of the week. But that really was just the tip of the tech iceberg, or if you will, the sauce in the sausage sandwich because we've still got over half a dozen launches left to go. All I can say is thank Christ for caffeine. Next up came the OnePlus 9 series which for now is just a duo. No sign of that OnePlus 9 Lite that we were all holding out for. Of course, as usual, OnePlus had pretty much entirely leaked both of these phones in the fortnight or so before the actual launch event, leaving about as much to the imagination as the average centerfold in Big and Bouncy magazine. I mean, seriously, those guys were even worse at keeping secrets than my five-year-old, and that's saying something. But, you know, who needs a bit of surprise and intrigue? Now, both of these shiny wee jobbies pack in the Snapdragon 888 chipset, backed by shag loads of RAM, plus you've got the latest Oxygen OS UI and 65-watt wired charging. While the Pro gets into some serious willy waving courtesy of a flipping huge 6.7 inch quad hd plus amoled screen you got upgraded camera tech including a telephoto lens water resistant design and super fast wireless charging and you can check out full unboxings of both of these smartphones as well as a comparison between the two so you can see which one might be best for you if you are tempted right so that's two down several more to go you know what F coffee it's time to get onto the good stuff on Wednesday, it was the turn of Realme, who finally properly launched the Realme 8 Pro, which brings the heat to Poco with its respectable specs on a budget. You've got a poppy AMOLED screen, albeit a 60Hz effort, plus strong battery life, 50W fast charging, 5G support, and a respectable 108 megapixel snapper slapped on that rather controversially branded arse. My full review is once again live right now, so if you want to see that Realme 8 Pro bear roll, then have at it. <laughs> right, where were we up to? Um, Thursday. Thursday, which had two more smartphone launches, one of which was from our great mates, Motorola. First up on Thursday, though, came this delightful pair from Vivo, the X60 Pro and the X60 Pro Plus. And by now, I'm not going to lie, people, my skull is just a jumble of specs. So many goddamn phones. 
I think they had some displays of some description and some memory and the Pro Plus has a fake leather back which is proper lush but the big story here is that Zeiss branded camera tech included some proper gimbal stabilisation and an absolute shed load of features and tools to piddle about with. And then next up, yes, came that Motorola, which turned out to be the Moto G100, the most powerful G-series phone yet, sporting the same Snapdragon 870 chipset as that Poco F3 fella. I gotta say, it does seem like a bit of a strange, uh, curious move for the Moto G-series, which I always associated with solid, everyday specs for the undemanding user to you know, just make sure their apps run smoothly, not to you know get gaming on Genshin Impact on maximum detail levels. Even more unusual is the docking feature of the Moto G100, and yes, before your mind goes to disgustingly filthy places, I'm talking about an actual dock for hooking up to a big screen, so you can see my lovely bald head in super-sized glory. Lush. Not that the 6.7 inch IPS screen is particularly compact of course and the Moto G100 also serves up a 5000 mAh battery, stock Android 11 UI and AI driven camera tech with bonus glow and ring action. Looks just like mine after I had that vindaloo last night. And you know what, I think that was actually all of the smartphones that were launched this week. Hello bloody Luya, praise the baby Jesus. Now you know what, I haven't even begun to touch on all the other tech that launched this week, including smartwatches like the Amazfit uh, T-Rex Pro and uh, the uh, Polar Ignite 2, bit of blingy smartwatch there. But you know what, I think we're done here because I'm starting to feel the urge to go and wrap my lips around my car's exhaust pipe. Which of course means that it's time for the part of the show that is only just about preferable to the exhaust pipe option, it's viewer comments. Wah, wah, wah. Viewer comments. <laughs> so lots of people may have spotted me using the OnePlus 9 Pro in last week's show. Uh, yeah, I've, I keep forgetting I've got to keep the phone out of view because uh, you crafty buggers are proper eagle-eyed, aren't you? Uh, so first comment of this week, Etienne says, uh, Over two minutes before the first your mum joke, you're slipping fella. Uh, yeah, Christ, and I've gone like half a video here without doing a single one either. Don't worry, I'll try and keep your mum on my lips more often. That's how she likes it. Uh, next to Mohammed says, lovely weather here in Barbados in the Caribbean. Okay, seriously, no. Bad audience, bad audience. Uh, next up, Ali says, haha, I feel your pain sitting here in Canada. I'm expecting more snow next weekend, so cheers to that. Oh, cheers indeed. Uh, sympathies for sure. Uh, yeah, my parents used to live there back in the day. Uh, well back in the day, but they decided they couldn't hack it. They actually had to flee the bad weather and go live in Sunderland instead. And when people are fleeing your country to go to Sunderland for more sunshine, that's where you know things are f***ed. Uh, next up, Dewan Joel says, salutes from... Uh... <laughs> okay, good f***ing luck. Uh, Skellefte? Skellefte? Uh, in northern Sweden. About one and a half metres of snow still hanging around. Jesus, that's like taller than me. I would actually be fully enveloped in snow if I lived there, uh, which thankfully I don't. Next week, loads will melt and we'll all drown. <laughs> so yeah, shut it. You live in a southern country. Uh, yeah, no fair play, mate. Yeah, I mean, here in the UK, it's a little bit chilly. Uh, I've definitely got some pokey nipple action on the go. I might have to go stick a hoodie on in a bit or something, but that's about as bad as it's, it's got this week. Uh, TC says, greetings from NYC. Oh man, I miss that place. Used to go to so many launches there back in the day. Thanks, COVID. Uh, looking forward to the P50 and the deep dive into Harmony OS. Yeah, really, really am. Um, just, yeah, just not been loving the half bit android on recent huawei smartphones it's just not the same and of course how many us is still going to be a hard sell because you know android and ios have been around for so bloody long that everyone's on one or the other you know they got their apps they've got their system they got all this set up but you know hopefully it'll come with some decent app support and it'll just be nice to have a breath of fresh air something a bit different and next up farhad says i wish youtube had a super like button like tinder i would definitely smash it here <laughs> i mean i don't know what that means because i'm old and not fun uh, but yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Uh, Jay Bayford simply says, my favourite weekly shower of shit. Uh, cheers, Jay. Uh, John Edwards says, black coffee with Guinness, Baileys and whiskey. Oh, and Sambuca. Mm. I was kind of on board there until the Sambuca bit. That's, that's another one of those drinks that makes me dry heave every time I so much as sniff it. Had too many bad experiences on that as a youngin. Although at least I've never had it quite as bad as the person uh, at my old college who uh, had a flaming Sambuca, forgot to blow it out before lifting it to their face and thus singed their eyebrows off. Although I'm not sure if that's a thing that actually happened or if it's just one of those weird urban legends. Uh, yeah, it's all it's all a bit messy up there right now. Uh, next up, Charles Copley says, 
and next time add some Jamesons or Baileys to that coffee. Uh, I do like an Irish coffee with a splash of Jamesons. Um, oh, actually, that should be the other way around. I like a Jamesons with a splash of coffee. Uh, and he continues, also, if you ever visit NJ, Disco Fries, Gravy on Fries like Poutine without the cheese curds. Um, is that NJ as in New Jersey? I never realised you guys had gravy on chips over there. I mean, that's like basically the northern diet. Uh, you know, you can't have dry chips. You've got to have chips with your gravy or curry sauce. Also, uh, also acceptable. Uh, next up, Rick's Tray says, reviewing phones, dot, 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 such hard work, LOL. Um, yeah, <laughs> fair play. As much as I bitch and moan about this job, let's face it, it's a pretty goddamn simple job that even a 14-year-old could quite happily do. Definitely a great way to keep the bill collectors at bay, although it used to be a lot better when I used to be able to go to actual events uh, with actual free bars. <sighs> ah, booze that you don't have to pay for. Nothing tastes sweeter. Uh, next up, Jedi Polar Bear says, I've been watching Texpert and Fred Dibner. Uh, my adverts are for Preparation Age and Gaviscon. There's a Saturday night right there. I too, right, mate. Um, the question is, which am I? Am I a cause of indigestion or am I a pain in the arse? The next up, Juso, sorry if I've completely mauled the pronunciation of that, says, here's another fan from Finland. Good on you, mate. Uh, after your fun facts, I don't feel so Finnish anymore since I don't drink any coffee. I hate metal music and I haven't even tried reindeer meat ever. <laughs> Damn, dude. I mean, you know, according to the internet, that's all there is to do in Finland. And we all know all too well that the internet never lies. And next up, Seth says, how do I get a copy of the Akira books? Nice and easy. Uh, there's a website called Book Depository where I go for uh, quite a lot of my graphic novels and you know manga stuff. Got a great little selection of stuff on there and generally well priced as well. And they do, I can't remember if I mentioned this already, deliver worldwide. Sorry, my brain really is turning into jelly today. Oh dear. Um, so anyone else get nervous by mid-Friday morning in case Chris has actually drunk himself into oblivion? Um, okay, a little behind the scenes secret here. I usually shoot Textbook Weekly on a Thursday uh, because by Friday morning I'm usually just a hungover grumpy mess of human puke. Occasionally there are exceptions to that rule of course like last week where I had to pick a competition winner but rest assured most of my heavy drinking is done in the afternoons when my stomach is well padded with a vat of coffee. Uh, next up Mark Brennan says how do you get into reviewing tech mate I'd love to do it. Uh, well personally I had an IT job that I absolutely hated so I took a, a journalism course in my spare time past my NCTJs then I managed to get a uh, very poorly paid job at Future Publishing, where I basically benchmarked about a dozen laptops a day in a converted broom closet. Oh, and by the way, if you've ever fancied having your own private household sauna, uh, but you can't be bothered with all the logistics of getting one installed, all you need to do is just uh, clear out a cupboard and then put 12 beefy gaming laptops in there and have them running at full pelt. That is a one-way ticket to Sweatsville. And then, long story short, basically uh, ended up working on Mobile Choice Magazine, then Recombu, that was where I got into the YouTube shiz. So it took about a decade or so to transition from IT job that I hated into the YouTube shenanigans. I'm sure there's much easier, quicker ways of doing it. I mean, to be honest, most YouTubers uh, seem to just basically get a camera of some description, or even a smartphone camera, because they're generally quite good these days, stick a mic into it, and then just start banging on about whatever you're interested in. And next up, Mark Flower says, can I make a guest appearance on Textbook Weekly? I don't want to say anything, just sit in the background drinking Budvar with a tequila chaser like some drunken sidekick. Uh, dude, if you're bringing Budvar and tequila, you are more than welcome. Uh, though the problem is that if I was to get a sidekick, I'd kind of need a sober sidekick. And they can, you know, take the reins when I'm utterly smashed off my tits. Uh, Randall Tech Info says, where's the merch? I would totally rock a tech spurt t-shirt while using a tech spurt bottle opener to open a bottle of spurt and ale. Not gonna lie, Spurt and Eel does sound friggin' awesome. I mean, I've never really even thought about doing my own merch because it all seems a bit wanky to me, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably go to all the trouble of, you know, printing out these Tech Spurt t-shirts and then it would literally be like four people would buy one. And it wouldn't just say Tech Spurt on it, it would actually be a massive jizz and cock because, you know, you can't, you can't half ass these things. You've got to go full in, you've got to go balls deep. Uh, oh, and Randall, Randall Tech Info continues, uh, also no love for Kickboxer. Um, yeah, no, I kickbox is perfectly fine after a few wheels. Uh, definitely an enjoyable bit of entertainment, but let's face it, it's no time cop. And next up, Joseph says, is the A72 worth it despite the lack of 5G? Um, well, I haven't personally tested out the A72, um, and obviously you've got the likes of the Poco F3 again, which is just such a considerable bargain with that incredible performance and everything for, you know, like 100 quid less 
than that A72. And alternatively, I'm also still a massive fan of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. That's a fantastic blower. Uh, Pixel 4A as well, if you uh, your priority is the camera tech. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully the words that are coming out of my mouth are making some sort of sense anyway, because I'm sorry, it's been, it's been a long ass week. Um, next week, in fact, this week this is the last one because I'm running out of time again. Uh, Spangro says, I'm a bit more of an exotic than a Finnish fan. Uh, just sharing the love from a Trinidadian fan. Oh, Trinidad, very nice. Uh, living in Poland. What? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What kind of arse leaves the Caribbean to go to a country like Poland? Oh, well, it's all because of the L word. Oh, lesbians. Oh, fair play, mate. You yeah, know, I've been to both Warsaw and Krakow in Poland. And gotta say, I do absolutely adore it over there. The weather's just as cack as the UK, unfortunately. But a good bit of hearty grub and some booze that is cheap as out, which basically immediately gives it a four-star trip advisor rating in my books. And very friendly punters in the bars as well, who are all too happy to mock my piss-poor pronunciations of the ridiculously named beer, like Jevet, I believe was one of them. Or Zvayet, as I was pronouncing it at the time. Anyway. Miss you, Poland. Hopefully one day at some point, once the world's less crazy. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's all the comments we've got time for this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone who commented in last week's show. Please do smash your comments down in the comments box below and we'll get through as many of those as possible next week. And now for some strange reason, you haven't quite had your fill of me just banging on about tech stuff uh, in a fairly brain dead fashion. Well, I did make a guest appearance this week in Tech Radar's Noise Cancelling Podcast. So I believe you can stream it on their YouTube YouTube channel. It's also live right now on the likes of Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff. And that was recorded Wednesday this week, so I still had some of my faculties, but don't expect too much sense to be made. And then next week, which is looking delightfully barren compared with this week, thank Christ. So we've got the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra launch on Monday, uh, so hopefully you might be able to bring you some hands-on stuff for that, although I haven't actually had one arrive here at Techspert Towers just yet, so we'll see. And it's big Dell webcam on um, Wednesday the 31st so they might be launching some new uh, sexy laptops and other shenanigans there and that's basically it ha ah, ha glory glory be I might actually get some sleep sleep anyhow uh, again a massive massive thank you to all half a million plus of you you are absolutely wonderful and I love you all very very dearly indeed uh, please do post subscribe and ding that notifications bell if you haven't done already join me next week uh, there'll be lots more stuff going on basically all of the overflow from this week the likes of the Amazfit T-Rex Pro don't want to miss that and of course next Friday at noon join me once again on uh, the the interwebs I guess uh, for another Techspert Weekly hooray okay love you bye